If your ruler looks like a mini basketball court, you're in America. Let's dive into why we still use inches and feet. Let's rewind to the colonial days. The British brought over their measuring system and guess what? We just stuck with it. Inches, feet, and miles became as American as apple pie. But, why didn't we switch to metric like most of the world? Well, it's kinda like trying to teach an old dog new tricks. The metric system did come knocking, but by then, our roads, buildings, and even recipes were all tailored to inches and feet. And then there's tradition. Americans love their traditions. It's like asking grandma to swap her secret pie recipe for a new one. Not gonna happen. So next time you wonder why we measure our height in feet or our milk in gallons, just remember, it's a quirky piece of history that makes America, well, America. Stay curious, folks. Fun fact. Did you know that the metric system was first proposed in the 1790s during the French Revolution? It aimed to create a universal standard of measurement. Despite its efficiency, the U.S. stuck with its quirky traditional system, making it a unique part of American identity. Fun fact. The British imperial system which influenced American measurements was standardized in 1824 by the British Weights and Measures Act. And did you know? The U.S. customary system is actually based on older British units but with some American twists, making it uniquely ours.